take recipes that you find online and try them in real life. It's been a while, guys. I apologize. Things are getting so much better. Um, thank you, Billy and David. I have a laptop. I just have to finish setting it up. I've had a crazy busy day. So let's get started. So this was a video that was sent to me and I put it up and you guys said, hey, you wanted me to make this. So I am making this. So let me try to adjust you down. I got, um, oh, I lost count. I got a bunch of wings here. I think I have eight wings. And what happened in the video, the video was sent to me, was he used 10. I'm actually make 16 wings and I think I have the wing video posted in this in the description of this video if not I will get it in the replay so what I have is I have wings and I'm just gonna chop these guys up and then you know what rather than go through all the ingredients because I have notes I was watching a video I'm just gonna go ahead and get started so the first thing you want to do with wings is you want to kind of like break them because the, the tip doesn't really matter, but you can kind of snap them apart. And that way you know where the seam is, which of course I'm going to end up cutting bones anyway. So the tips I'm not really going to use. I'm just going to toss them. And then I have um, the drum and the flat. This part is a little harder to break. So I'm going to take the skin down first, and then with that, I can see the joint where I want to go. There we go. And I definitely got bone there. Hold on. Oh, that's because I am way off. There is the joint. Much better. So if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe. Um, it has been a trying week. Subscribing helps my channel reach new people. It helps me toward monetization. That way um, I can actually make my passion into a career. So yay, bonus for everybody. Um, I am getting the car tomorrow, so I am super excited. And I know usually I do this on Wednesdays. I apologize for the Thursday. So here we have the um, flat and a drumstick, which are both going to be delicious. It's just the tips don't have a lot of meat on them. So um, normally, if I had prepared better, which I didn't, I could save the tips and make stock out of it, but I'm not doing that tonight. It's a little bit of a waste, but oh, I got bone. And I know I probably could get um, a knife that cuts through the bone, but I am lazy. I got bone again. Where is the joints? Oh, well, it's coming. There we go. Sometimes the bone must be cut. <laughs> so then cut here. And I'm cutting this flap of skin. And then from there, I can see where the joint is right there. And just cut along the joint. It makes it super, super easy. Oops, my bowls floating away on me. Man, I think I pulled it sideways last time. That was how I got, oh, whoa, I just broke the flat. I don't want to do that. So you know what? I'm going to actually do this one opposite. I'm going to get in here, see where that joint is. There it is. And cut along that joint. I got my Flat. Well, no, I got my drumstick. And now to get my flat out of here. And this is probably the most tedious part. I think I'm going to have some fun. And as you guys have joked and waited, and I have joked as well, it's a burn down my kitchen. <laughs> or at least set it on fire. But hey, we'll have fun. And these will be delicious. go. Where is it? It's in there somewhere. There we go. Actually, 
actually it's easier if you pull the if you separate the flat and the um drumstick before you pull the tip off Then look for that bone. There we go. Oh, I still managed to cut the bone. It's all right. Nope, it's not all right. There it is. Okay. And this, like I said, this is very tedious. But I only got. In this part, the bone is cutting. Oh, hey, that works too. Got two left, so it's not too bad. And it's only taken me less than 10 minutes. So this was actually probably the part I feared the most. Okay. Oop, there we go. And there's probably a more professional way to do that, but as many as you know, many of you know, I am not a professional. I just enjoy doing this. And I think it's important that everybody learns to cook at one point in their life. Because unfortunately, during, during my hiatus, I actually... You get to kind of talk to people because a lot of people came out of the woodworks worried about me. Wondering if I was okay because I just, you know, I went off and cried hysterically on camera, which is something that, you know, I never really do unless I absolutely am motivated to. And one of the things that had popped up was I have been... I try to get to know people who follow me. And unfortunately, there are some really, really creepy people that I have come into contact with. So now I have my um, flats and my drumsticks. I'm going to actually go ahead and pull these tips out of my sink and throw them away. I don't know whose turn it is to do dishes tonight, but that will blend out. So move this aside. Oops, I forgot to set up my spare shelf. But I thought this guy was really cool. And about mm, when I hit over 500 subscribers, he had this weird meltdown on me that I wasn't paying enough attention to him. Okay, I got this set up. I'm going to add salt. Oh, not that much salt. I'm just going to sprinkle it in over my drumsticks and toss them around a bit. Actually, I'll get in there and stir them up some. Get these seasonings all mixed up. But anyway, he seemed really nice, and then he flipped out that he wasn't the center of my attention. I'm going to add pepper. And, oh, my hands are greasy. Hold on. And, you know, all was cool and dandy. And then one day, randomly, he did it again because I wasn't dropping everything I was doing when he messaged me, demanded that I flirt with him. And, you know, this was the second outburst. Well, after the second outburst, I really didn't want to talk to him. So I just been kind of avoiding him because it was only a matter of time before, you know, he had another wig out. So over my hiatus, he goes off on me claiming that I never wanted anything to do with him, that he was just one of my many. And I said, you know, yes, you're one of hundreds. I hate to be like that, but that's kind of what you are. That was pepper, by the way. So I just want to put that out there that um, I'm not a total brat. There's a lot of you guys, and I love and appreciate all of you, but my time is mine. And when I do decide, oh, this is paprika, by the way. When you, I do decide to get back out there, I will decide on my terms. That is not decided for me. So this is paprika. 
And I'm just mixing it around, trying to get all of the um, chicken covered. And this is kind of what he did in the video. I think I'm using a little more spices. What he did was he uh, did the curry style, mix them all together at once. Next, I'm going to throw in, oh, my hands are glorious, some garlic powder. And again, I'm just coating them. Like I said, I'm not doing it like he did. I'm doing it a totally different way. Um, the video I have, if it's not in the description now, I will have it in the description on the replay. So mixing this in. Oh, look at the paprika all over my counter. So next I'm gonna put in some onion powder that I have not yet opened. Oh my God. Oh, I should have thought about that. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't even have anything started yet and I'm already sweating. Oh, that's a big ass knife. I'm not using that knife. It's a butter knife. Or not. I don't wanna grab anything with this hand. Hold on, let me get another paper towel. Really? Aha! All right. Onion powder, take two. Just throwing that over my wings and putting it in the spice cabinet. Okay. Stir that up. Now what he does in the video is he puts it in the fridge. So I guess we want to let that just marinate for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this sucker in the fridge. Got um, 16 little wing pieces here, four for four people. <sighs> While I have that going, I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of this aside. I had this for my, um, I call it the mug shot. Put my honey upside down so hopefully it's usable which I've had my honey kind of warming for a while, so it should be palatable. Now this is where it gets a little, little dicey for me because I don't have good experience doing this, but I'm gonna try because that is what you guys wanna see. And everything you have done for me, I should be doing what you wanna see. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. I gotta get this junk off. <laughs> Well, wait a minute. Let me uh, let me reprioritize here. I gotta I gotta wash my hands. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so, like I said, um, I definitely got a new laptop. I am working on setting it up right now. I have to see if it runs OBS, and I have to make some changes to my wish list. So, and Billy and David are amazing. They, um, they found a laptop and they immediately started reformatting it. So I was like, wow. So that is awesome sauce. And thankfully, one of the things I was a little worried about, I think they managed to bring it back to factory settings because I don't want to go in their biz. So, um, this is probably my highest, second highest pot. I'm going to use this for safety. I'm putting the heat on medium, let's see, seven. So medium would be three and a half. I'm going to use all my veggie oil. I'm not sure how much that is, but that's what I'm putting in. And if it doesn't look right, I'm going to be adding sesame oil to it. And that's nice. So let me go ahead and add some sesame oil because the sesame oil burns differently. And if I understand right, it won't burn as um, hot. I don't exactly know how to describe that, but it was explained to me earlier. 
If I can get the bottle open. Uh, I might have to go grab. Shoot. Oh, hey, label. Do I have rubber bands? Yes. No. That is plastic cutlery. All right. Hold on a second, guys. I need to go grab a, something. Sorry about that, guys. Love having stronger neighbors. So I'm actually going to add some sesame oil in with the veggie oil to give it kind of like a better burn. Kind of doing half and half. So if you can see, which you can't see, let me see if I can raise the camera a bit. Ooh. It. Well, you can see right now, I don't have it very high and I have it on medium. While I have that on medium, I'm going to bring you back down. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the sriracha sauce. Now, y'all sent me this video. If you know me, I cannot do hot. So sriracha is a little over my palate. So I'm going to take a half a cup of honey. while I heat those, uh, heat that oil up. Actually, do I really want to heat that up? Yeah, I do. I don't know why I'm hanging that back up. I'm going to need it. So half a cup of honey. And I just got, oh, my honey is a rock. Ooh. you know in the videos that are like a little more professional than mine they make it look so easy and then you have me who's like well let's try this get a butter knife here and get honey all over my counter that's awesome all right that's good that's enough out of that one thankfully i have a second honey bear can use that knife later and let's see how this goes. Oh, this is going. Oh, forget this. I'm going to go the hard way. Okay. So this honey bear is going to equal out to about a half a cup. We're finishing this up. So let's go ahead and pour this in. I'm going to call this honey bear done and then I'm just going to use my knife and scrape this into the bowl best I can. And this is an unholy mess. Yeah, this is a mess. <laughs> Oh my gosh, all that honey. Okay. I'm going to declare this good enough. Put that over here to the side. And then um, three tablespoons of sriracha. And like you guys know, I cannot use sriracha, so I am going to be using mambo sauce. Uh, let's see, this is two tablespoons. 
you know what, why 30 two spoons? So I am using mambo sauce, which is a sweeter alternative. It comes from Washington, D.C. And if it's too sweet, I can always add some cumin or turmeric and heat it up a little. But we shall see. So that was three tablespoons of the sriracha, which like I said, I'm using mamba sauce. I'm gonna use my knife and scrape that in there. And then I want half a teaspoon of vinegar, so not a lot. So hold on, am I gonna need this tablespoon again? No, I'm not. So half a teaspoon of vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar, my favorite flavor. I think it gives it a nice sweet bitterness. Just blink, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use some sesame oil, which again is a half a tablespoon, which is basically a teaspoon. Blink, good enough. Okay, let me um throw these honey bears away before they get sickingly sweet everywhere. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my knife and just stir that up best I can. And the sesame oil is breaking down the honey, which is awesome. So I'm just going to leave this out. I'm going to put this in the sink. I don't care hella high water. I'm not using that again. So next, I'm going to pull my chicken back up. And I just set that to the side, get my chicken out of the fridge. Nice and spicy get my cornstarch. Now in the video, he uses potato starch. I could not find potato. I don't think I'm going to have a, tr a problem with corn. I'm going to need a third a cup of cornstarch. Okay. Oh, this is not going to be easy. I thought it would, but of course it can't be easy because that would be no fun. Uh-huh. Okay. So let me use this little scoop. And I got the oil heating up, which is, I keep looking over at it because I'm a little scared of the oil, but hey, that's what it is. So let me use, that's the wrong one. Crap. Hold on. Technical, technical difficulties. Ugh. Okay. We got this. Maybe. I don't know. Put you aside. No, wait. I need to pull you off. Ah. Get off of my thingy. There we go. So let me do this. Which now that I'm looking at it, I think the cornstarch has a little bit of a different texture than the potato starch that he used, but I'm going to be okay with it. We're going to make it work one way or another. So put that in, put that over the chicken, nice and sloppily. And then I need a fourth a cup of water, which I already have my fourth a cup pulled out. Let me cap this up before I get it wet. And I don't think I'm going to need those again. So I'm just going to put those aside. And let me put this somewhere where it won't get wet. There we go. I'm going to use some water, fourth cup of water on top of a third a cup of cornstarch. And just put this back together because I don't think I need it again. And then um, he actually uses his hand and just mixes it. I guess I'm going to mix it with my hand. <laughs> All right. Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> Here we go. All right. But she also had a glove. I do not have the luxury of gloves right now, but I want to make sure that this batter gets coated. It's already nice and seasoned from where I had it sitting in the fridge. You can see the water down there. So I want to make sure it gets nice and moist and powdery and everything else. So like I said before, guys, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. It helps me grow my channel and it's absolutely free. If you really do want to support me and I have had some amazing supporters, I have um, PayPal, Cash App and Patreon in the description. I have also opened a merch store 
you guys asked for hoodies, there's hoodies on there along with tank tops, t-shirts, and long sleeve shirts. So now I have this pretty much done. And what he shows in the video is he carefully drops each piece into the grease. I'm a little hesitant, but I'm gonna try it. It's not sizzling. I think it's supposed to be sizzling. Turn it up a notch. There it goes, it's sizzling. Which I'm kind of okay with it not sizzling, to be honest. It's sizzling a little bit, but it's not going crazy like it was in his video. So I'm actually gonna turn it up. And I think I actually overwatered this mixture, but okay, whatever. Okay, and you can hear it when I put the chicken in. Ooh. Okay, and you want to get as close as you can to the oil because there is splashback. I actually got splashback that time. Ooh. Part of it is I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that, guys. Okay. I'm just finding an to fit each wing, which is working pretty good. What the heck is this? Oh, two stuck together. Nice. Okay. Ooh. And as I add each one, the oil is rising. So I just, woo. Okay. I just cleaned up this burner so it wouldn't do that. Let me go ahead and hit that. Sorry about the noise, guys. Okay, so I'm going to let that go for five minutes as soon as I wash my hands. Let me pop you back up so you can see what's going on there. I got that boiling. Let me uh, wash my hand here. Oh, look, fire. It's not a grease fire. I'm not worried about it. Let me move this over a burner. That takes care of that. I apologize. So now I got this going. Let me wash my hands, like I said. Let me scooch this back. If it was a grease fire, remember, guys, don't throw water on it, smother it. Okay. So we are okay. <laughs> isn't ideal but I can work with it and the chicken is looking good believe it or not so let me clean up some don't have a lot of room to clean up but that's okay we shall make do so I'm going to set this timer for five five minutes and then I'm going to flip these wings over you give me a second So I'm going to give them a minute, and then when I am done with that five minutes, I'm sorry. Oh, I hit the wrong button. So I'm going to give them five minutes, and while I give them five minutes, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wash out this bowl. Because I can use this bowl for uh, my sauce. Give me a second. Because when I'm done, the wings, I'm going to want to pull them out. I'm going to want to sauce them. So let me wash this real quick. 
clean up some. I can go ahead. I got the smoke pretty much cleared. I can turn that down a little. Again, I'm sorry about that, guys. So I, I achievement unlocked. I set the kitchen on fire. <laughs> It's not as bad as it was earlier this week, but that's also because we disabled the fire, the smoke detector. It was giving my friends a heart attack, so. All right, so this is a clean bowl. And the reason I'm washing it out is I don't want the raw chicken to mingle with the cooked chicken. So I am just going to pat this down with a paper towel and set it in my drying rack off camera. I apologize for that. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, a little smoky. So, <clears throat> what is good with wings? Of course, carrot sticks. So, I have here some carrots that I'm going to be using. And what you do with carrots is I'm just going to top, chop off the tips. And then I'm going to shred them. Not shred them, um, skin them. And when you skin carrots, it's super, super easy. Just need a potato peeler and just, you know, downward motion. And what you want to get is um, carrots are a root vegetable. You want to get all that nasty gnarliness off of them that have been in the ground. And then under it, where you can see, maybe you can, you want to get the glossiness off of it. That way it's a nice, clean carrot and it tastes better. Then just turn it around and do the same to the other side. And like I said, it's a whoop, tap root. So the carrot's actually in the ground like that. So I got that carrot and then I, I was freaking out a minute. I looked at my timer and I was like, oh no, it did not just stop at two minutes. Please tell me it did not just stop at two minutes. And it didn't, so I'm good. Can you see what I'm doing? Or am I doing it off camera? I apologize if I am. So, so I am almost to 700 subscribers. I love and appreciate you guys so much. You are probably the best people in the world. And I know um, it's not just America. I have people as far as Australia, India, Indonesia, Korea. You guys are amazing. Um, I actually, while I was taking my break, considered having another, making another show. And this one's probably not going to be food related, but while I've been kind of networking and meeting people, there's some issues that I found that I just, I want to bring awareness to them. So I think I'm going to do that. And with the laptop, I'm not going to have to keep going live. I can actually, you know, put together and edit videos. They are bubbling very nicely. I like how they are turning out. So I'm going to cut all these carrots just in half. And then I am going to cut them four ways. That way, um, I don't know, 12. Don't ask me math. Okay. So he fries the... Um, wings for five minutes. I'm actually going to do it five on each side. And then he sets them on a pan. I'm actually going to set them on a paper towel because I don't think I have a pan to set them on. Or actually, I probably could grab a pan, but oh well, we'll figure it out. So just carrot sticks to go on the side of a uh, all right chicken rings, which are not sriracha, the mambo sauce, but they're going to be delicious. And nobody in this house likes sriracha, so kind of have to do what we like. Otherwise, we just waste food, and that would be stupid. Okay, so five minutes is up. I'm actually going to take my tongs, and I'm going to flip each one of these wings, which some of them don't even need it. But I'm going to anyway, because I, I want to make sure they're done. And they are sticking to the bottom. That's not cool. 
Oh no! I guess my oil definitely was not hot enough, or the batter was too sticky. I'm not a professional. I I don't have an answer. So rather than twice fry them like he does in the video, I am going to do five minutes on each side. I'm not happy with how these are turning out. I can tell you that right now. So I'm going to cook them a little longer than he does, just because I, whoa, steam, that hurt. Like I said, frying is not my forte. I have not tried this in years, because I, when I was uh, younger, I had a blooming onion that I, I did, I think I flipped them off. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to give them another five minutes. Just definitely out of precaution because I do not want them raw. And some of them aren't even nicely coated. So I'm a little, oh wait a minute, there's some down here that I don't think I turned. Or that's what's stuck on the bottom. Anyway, let me get you down in that oil, okay? I'm gonna let them go for another five minutes. And so now I'm doing things a little on my own, a little, whoo sweaty that is that's just all the steam that's come up from the oil so i'm going to continue these carrots i think i quartered these Did I quarter these yeah i quartered that one so i um i filled a pan with oil and it was just a saucepan and i filled it up pretty good maybe halfway and then i put the bloom and onion in batter and all and it just went psh, everywhere so that was actually the last time i stove fried something after that my uh boyfriend's mom at the time got me a deep fryer <laughs> so i could safely fry stuff and i used to make some really good fried chicken but i don't have a deep fryer right now maybe down the line i will i happen to like my air fryer i won't lie i think it's healthier and cleaner So these aren't the best carrot sticks, but I'm pretty sure if you go to like um, a bar and grill or a sports bar, they're gonna give you baby carrots. But hey, that's okay, because I get to make carrot sticks. Okay. Come on, carrot, there you go. And I got these quartered, oh, they are definitely not the same size. I can divide them up in a little bit. Now, in the video, he fries them for five minutes, but what he does is he has them completely submerged. I did not add enough oil, and I don't think my oil was hot enough when I originally put them in. So I'm kind of doing it a little off the book, but, you know, I just want to make sure it all turns out okay. So I got my carrot sticks done, which I'm so sorry that you were only half watching that while I did that. Got my carrot sticks done. I'm gonna go ahead and put my carrots to the side for right now. And then I'm gonna grab a plate and I'm gonna prep the plate with some paper towels. I don't have the drying pan like he does. Maybe I could use the broiler pan, but the broiler pan is so hard to wash that I don't feel like getting it. I'm gonna actually grab three paper towels. And I have two more minutes on what I think will fry them. Um, I definitely want these puppies done. I don't want any raw chicken. So, yeah. My first time frying on the stove in about, my daughter was one or two and I set the kitchen on fire. She's 12 so yeah a decade i'm i think i'm doing good 
<laughs> so, and like I said, I, I just, anybody can cook. This is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. I'm only 40 minutes in. I thought this was going to take forever, and it's not. So, one of them, another thing I'm going to grab it is not what falls out of the freezer, because my freezer is over packed all the time. Is I'm going to grab some generic curly fries that nobody needs to know the brand of. And when I pull the chicken wings out, I'm going to put the fries in. So I'm going to have a nice dinner with some chicken, uh, chicken sticks, carrot sticks, chicken wings, and curly fries. So I think that's going to be a very nice dinner, kind of a gastro pub, barzy. It'll work out. And sometimes you just want to have something a little fun. Some fun finger food with some ranch. Sounds perfect. Now I'm gonna use the strainer rather than my tongs to pull it out. And I think what I'm gonna do is try to wiggle the oil out as I pull them. And I'm hoping it gives me a better grip than the tongs because I don't like how the tongs handled the oil. I'm actually kind of wondering if I burnt them a little. But it's okay, they're dollar store tongs. So I have 25 seconds left. I know these sriracha rings have been so long awaited. Um, <clears throat> I got my social life back this week. So I'm going to go back to some light gaming. And I don't want to go back to a chaotic schedule. But like I said, I'm going to start doing a little more. So that um, if I do have something planned that day of the week. There we go. There's my five minutes. Um I still have other stuff going on other days of the week, so you guys aren't up high and dry like you were this week. So here are the wings. They look done. And they are nice and hot. Okay. Oh, I was wrong. They are still sticking to the bottom, but that is okay them nice and try to shake them out a little bit but that's not working as well as I expected and it's still very very bubbly in here so oh they are all stuck on the side and I am like 92% sure that they are done and I do not want this oil to go to waste So of course in the video he has them laid out in a nice straight line. I have chaos, which is usually what you know my driving motive in the world. Okay. So get I'm trying to get these to the paper towel, that way the paper towel can absorb them. And now that the oil is hot, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add these generic curly fries that need cut open. And I'm going to get the bag as close to that oil as I can so I don't have splashback. And I'm pulling it all the way open so that it goes in easy, hopefully. This might just be a shit idea, but we will see. Let's see, uh, full bag, 30 minutes. Oh, it doesn't have a deep fry time. Okay. Oh, I am scared. Gentle, 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 gentle. All right. We got fries in the oil, which is not covering them, but it's all right. That was not going to work, but I will try to make it work. It's not heating. Okay, yeah, it is. So I might end up with some half frozen fries that I'm throwing in the microwave later, but that's what it is. So I actually have the fries stirred in there. <laughs> Hopefully that cooks. I think it will. If not, then I'm just going to have to be nuking some fries. So now that I have that done, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lift these with the strainer to again beat out as much oil as I can into my nice clean bowl. And they're only half coated. Um, hmm, that one looks a little iffy. Let me check something before I go forward with this. It's cooked. They're not as hot as I expected them to be, so which really makes me wonder how they managed to cook like they did. Which I've actually, I've pan cooked fries before, so I, I have confidence that my fries will turn out good. Some nice, delicious curly fries. And some of them, the meat is actually coming off, whoa, the bell. So that tells me it's definitely cooked. Why did I do that? I just burnt myself and I grab another piece. Derp. So you can see how saturated those paper towels are. Oh, I'm gonna wanna, I, I might actually, no, I'm gonna grab another plate. Let me stir these up, make sure they are cooking. Are. They might just be a little not as crisp as I want, but they'll work. So now with that done, oh get in there as deep as you guys can get. Alright, now that I got that done. <coughs> excuse me, I did inhale a lot of smoke. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to put that in the sink, and now I'm going to take the sauce that I made that, you know what, I should probably try it, make sure it's delicious, a little sweet because it is honey and mama sauce. Now, remember, the recipe is for sriracha, but we don't eat sriracha in this house, so I'm actually, this is really good. So I'm going to take... um my spatula and really carve it in there. Get it all. Now stir that up. You can like toss it in your wings. And yeah, like there's a pull at the bottom so you can really, really coat these suckers up. And it's not red like he has in the video, but I also I don't think I battered it right. He used potato starch. I used corn. He used sriracha. I used mumbo. I'm basically trying to do the same techniques that he is. So now that I have these all stirred up, sorry. I'm going to place them on another plate to serve them. I mean, I have these suckers mixed up. They are nice and saucy. And now I am going to try to make them a little bit presentable. But, I mean, they weren't coated as perfectly as they should be. Again, I don't think I had my oil as hot as it should be. So... The coating fell off and thing. A couple of them got stuck to the bottom. You know what? You're watching me do this. It is trial and error. I think I did a good job, but we shall see here in a moment. And what I could do before I plate them, and I think I actually will, there is a lot of sauce here at the bottom. I'm actually going to pour the sauce over the wings again. Make sure they really absorb that sauce up. Because I did that 
Oh, last Wednesday when I had that breakdown, I actually had to cook those wings. They were going to go bad. And I made teriyaki sauce. And there was so much teriyaki left in the bottom of the bowl. And I was like, oh, I don't want to waste that teriyaki. So I'm just making these really messy, really good. And then I'm going to top them with some sesame seeds. Just all over, top, 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 top. Okay. And now the moment of truth. I actually like drumsticks over flats. Mmm. Oh god. Oh that that's perfect. Now if you like sriracha, I bet you would like this. Oh god. It's perfectly cooked through. Give this a stir. Woo! Hot! I can't stop eating this wing. <laughs> this is delicious. And I didn't even use the right ingredients. I used sriracha. And cornstarch. Oh my god. I bet anything else can wait. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. No. Oh. I don't want to waste another plate. So I'm just going to pull this plate back out. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I can't put the freaking wing down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this oil off. I'm gonna um, get some paper towels for my fries. Mm. Oh my God. Hold on guys. That's never happened where I couldn't stop me. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm grabbing another three paper towels. And I'm using this strainer. And they're stuck to the bottom. Oh, this is a good idea. It's all right. So I'm actually going to let the fries sit for about mm, five minutes. Hopefully they get crispy. If not, they're just going to be soft fries. Let me move this over here so you can see what I'm doing. And I mean, it's chicken and potato is now stuck to the bottom of this pan. <laughs> ah, I wonder who's doing dishes tonight. They're going to love this. Which thankfully it's quiet. Oh, my kids found other things to do tonight, so... It'll be nice and crispy by the time they get home. All right, that's probably as good as I'm going to get. That's probably four servings of fries. You can see in here where I have it all stuck to the bottom. It's a total nightmare. But that can wait until afterwards. So here's one fry. Then I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> So let me move that aside. Got that burner. I'm going to put just a little bit of salt on these guys to try to oh, excuse me, absorb some of the grease. I'm just using kosher salt. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to. Thank you so much for bearing with me. Thank you for staying with me while I set the stove on fire. I love you guys. Stay gorgeous. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, my links are in the description. I didn't see any comments. Let me check. Huh. 
No comments. Cool. Oh, yay. Yeah, that worked. Why not use your baking, your oven to bake your fries? Because I was lazy. The oil was sitting here. Oh, I, oh my gosh. I, wow. Hello. Hello. Okay. Let me read these real quick. You mean Kazooie? Yeah, kind of. Uh, the thick. Slice and dice till she still isn't awake. So rainbows, gas, if you're a lesbian. No, I'm not a lesbian. Please don't be ignorant. Um, speak of Peppy with gummy bear. Uh, I don't know. You're doing great. No fire yet. There was a fire. I don't know if you saw it or not. Did you cut your hair? No, I just have it down today. Um, celery with blue cheese. I'm not crazy over celery. And I put the fries in the um, oil because I actually wanted some like authentic fries. I just didn't want that oil to go to waste. I can touch this now. It's cooked. It's a little soggy. It's not crispy, but it's good. I'm really excited about these carrots. Anyway, like I said, love you guys. I will see you next video. <laughs> All right. Bye. Mm, if I can turn it off.